Maybe Johnny doesn't exist. But either way, it's this guy we're supposed to talk to. It seems. Can't come in here. Not allowed in here. I just want to talk to the boy. Not allowed. It's not allowed. He and why is that? Anyway, Grand don't like you. And and Johnny's made up. Okay. And, and stranger still kids. Yep, but like, what is the deal with that Johnny guy? Just you say he's where I can find made Johnny. up, but Johnny's made up. Be gone. Be gone. You're not very happy with us. <laughs> oh, I actually thought you were about to fight us. You know, maybe due to you know previous events of a similar nature, when people were not very happy with us, it does seem like. Ask the children in the village about Ah, find a way to lure Granny away from the hut. Interesting. Information found in the home of Hendrick, milk guardian agent, indicated Siri had entered into conflict with some witch in Bellin. First, Carol thought witch, which was uh, Kira Metz, later learned that Hendrick had met a different individual, one who dwelt in Crookback Bog. The witcher ventured into the swamps, determined to find this bog dwelling witch, ask her about Siri. And. Get ran out of there. That apparently be the primary objective here. It does seem as though we're getting directed out here toward the children. Why don't you want to talk about Johnny? One of you knows about him. The others must too. It's just him who's pals with Johnny. They pick mushrooms and hunt snails. But Gran says Johnny's made up. Have you ever seen this person? Just gran ever hurt you? Oh, okay, hold on. Make sure the kids are okay. Does your gran treat you right? She ever hurt you? Never. When okay. we're bad, she cries. She's scared. Say strangers might take us. And we'll disappear. Okay, that seems honest enough of someone who, at least if we're to believe her, might have lost her family members as well. That makes sense. Doesn't seem as though she's mistreating them. Friends not afraid to go in the woods. Yeah, I suppose that is a little odd. The boy who plays with Johnny, he must be brave. Not brave, just stupid. <laughs> Sat his bare bum on an anthill once. But yeah, he plays with Johnny. He don't listen to Gran and goes in the woods, and then he's got to have a time out. And he eats snails. Yuck. A lot of talk of snails. I don't know if that's significant. Might not be, but... I suppose potential. Have any of you ever seen Johnny? Of course. Looks just like him. Then why do you say he's made up? Mm -hmm. Gran says so. Welcome. And Gran knows lots. Oh, thank you for the follow, Triple Bull. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Huh. Oh, no worries. Glad that helps. The girl I mentioned is in danger. You gotta help me get your gran away from the hut so I can talk to Johnny's friend. All right, but you've got to do something for us, too. Play hide and seek. <laughs> gran never does. Says her feet hurt. So we need to get some information out of one of the kids here, and Granny is kind of guarding this kid, not letting us talk to him for whatever reason. Mysterious as to why that might be. And so we're trying to lure her away from him, and... Apparently these kids can help us out, but we gotta play some hide and seek to make it happen? Sure. Let's play. You hide, but if I find you, you have to help me talk to the boy who knows Johnny. He thinks he'll find us easy. Means he's never hid from the black ones. No what? Hidden. And you have to count out loud. Hiding from the North Guardians? your fingers, toes, too. One, <laughs> two, It's a little hard to count three, our fingers when they're in those metal gauntlets like that. Eighteen, nineteen. 20. I've expected him to count to something Ready other than not. 20. Here I come. So, I am curious what the quest says here in this instance. Uh, find the hidden children using your Witcher senses. I was going to say, if we can use our Witcher senses, then that's, you know, it's kind of cheating. But, I suppose. Alright. Where are you guys hiding? Come out, come out, wherever you are. I'm gonna find you. 
We're gonna find you. Hmm. I know you're out there. Oh, I heard that. I heard that. Oh. What's this? Might this I be one see. of the children? Found me. That I did. All right, one down. Assuming those were your footsteps there. Yeah, okay. I did hear another person over here. Not sure if that was the little girl that we just saw. Not? Oh, that's also seemingly something potentially of value over there. Might just be an herb. Hold on. Hold on. That's uh, just beggar tick. Also, there's a signpost which, that we may or may not have seen earlier. Theoretically, it is possible for the, the kids to be hiding this far out. Just barely. Oh. I heard that. There you go. Are we in the house? Oh. It looks like you might be. There you go. There you are. There you are. How'd you find me? That's our little secret. Definitely aren't totally cheating by using some supernatural abilities. <laughs> yeah, something tells me it won't be too difficult given how we have those. But thank you, no less. Do we tell them, though, that we were using them? Oh, well, that was easy. See you. Come out. No fair. I'm supposed to win. <laughs> I'm sorry. It does mean that there's only one person left, so theoretically, one remaining is the winner, so to speak. Mm. Well, that's pleasant. Very pleasant. Those sound like Andriga's over there. Not far away. It's perhaps a bit of a concern. Okay, we've checked the corners. What, did you just... Oh no, those are the people we've already found. I was gonna say, we just <laughs> have someone who hung out right in the middle and not actually hide from us? Uh, oh. Interesting. Can we climb up this? Do I need to find another way up? I know you're hiding here somewhere. This was clever, though. I'll give you that. Huh? Back. You go up this way, and then... Huh? You go up even further? Surely you're not up there. This music is making me a little concerned that maybe something bad happened to you. Slide down? I bet you're down here. You're in the, the sack of hay. I know you yes, are. That's everyone. Found you all. You don't play right. Yeah, you're right. We did cheat. Help. Come on. Let's talk to the others by the cottage. Yeah. Found you all. I was a little concerned with, with him going up the, the rooftop friend. that something bad oh, might have happened to him. Promised, didn't we? <laughs> Gran, come. Okay, now we make a run for it. Talk to this guy. Don't be afraid. Before Gran comes back. Don't know nothing. I won't hurt you. Where's Gran? She's busy. Do we need to cut to the chase here, or can we talk about the Where other you stuff? And your friends it's not friends. as important. Dad, some starved, others were killed, like mine. One day, they went out at dawn to look for berries in the woods. Still some around back then. When I was coming home, I heard the yells, then laughing. When 
up and hid in the bushes near the woods. My mom yelled at the soldiers laugh. Leave my pot down by the bird door. Is that clean off? I left my mom. It's all right. That's enough. Yeah, that sounds pretty terrible. And could very well be similar stories for the other children, too. Why are you scared to talk? You're not scared of nothing. You're all scared of something. Would have told me about Johnny otherwise. I'm worried about Johnny. He don't come round no more. Once, when we was mushroom picking, I saw his burrow. Burrow, but you say? Ron yelled at me. Said, Sounds like he's not human. Strangers, cause then kids go missing. She worries about Johnny too. Though she says he's made up. That sounds like a cover up though. I just want to talk to Johnny. He could know more than you. Not gonna hurt him, right? Cause he's real. He's not made up. Alright. I'm not gonna hurt him. Johnny used to be a boy, cause Gran liked listening to his songs. When we was picking mushrooms, Johnny said he saw a girl with ashen hair in the swamp. Oh, where can I find go on. Johnny? There's a little meadow on the edge of the swamp. This strange tree grows there. Look around, you'll see him. Thank you. All right. Let's take a look then at what that update tells us. We are presumably headed for that swampy or that meadowy area with that strange tree. Look for Johnny in the swamp using your witcher senses. Okay, fair enough. Let's uh, scram before Granny realizes that we were talking to that guy. <laughs> okay, how far is said meadow? Okay, on the edge of the swamp area? Oh, it's not far at all. We were noticing earlier that there seemed to be some kind of monsters Night like Intrigas. At least I suspected Intrigas. Um, that's a lake bog, water bog, whatever they're technically called, and drowners or something of a similar sort here. Let's do a quick save because it's been a little while. Grant is busy doing. Yeah, you know. Okay, so this does appear to be the area of note. And, uh, I'm assuming that it's okay for us to fight these guys. These guys are Johnny. You are, of course, the tricky of this group. However, you are still just level 6, so it's gonna be too difficult. If Johnny's real, he must leave Prince. Probably. Call water. I know we were looking to get a water like alchemical material from the water hags. Thought it was essence of water, though. I think it was the one that we were thinking wanted to get one more of before we crafted the cat potion. I think. Oh! Enough for a dancing star now. Not sure what it was that we picked up that suddenly made that possible. Maybe we got the... Oh, I think we got the recipe. So we definitely did not pick up any of these ingredients recently. Okay, so let's craft this. And then... Anything else that we could do here? Werewolf have been delaying for a while now, because there are other things we might want to use those ingredients on. This was the one I was referring to, yeah. Still want to get one more water essence, I think, before we craft a craft craft a cat potion. Because cat potions, I think, for the most part, are not necessary. They're convenient, but not ne not really necessary. So it'd be nice to make sure that we still had some water essences in case there are other more valuable potions that we'd like to create later on. However, enhanced tawny owl. That 
Seems like something we ought to do right now. A raucous venom. That's pretty hard to get, but we do at least have two of it. It's not like we're using the very last of it. That sounds good. And you say, Donnie leaves Prince. All those do appear to be human footprints. So, that would seem to suggest that he is actually a little kid, based on the size of those footprints. Small footprint. Johnny's been through here. Okay. I'm assuming that quest update is just me looking for him. Look for him somewhere over here. All of Johnny's footprints. Yep. Okay. Headed in this direction. I am a little curious, though, if there's anything else over here on this little island. A strange-looking tree. This was probably the one that that child was referring to. Don't know that there's anything else of note. Oh, it's here, besides the drowners pop up out of the water, which is, you know, not really a fight that we particularly need to be fighting at the moment. Looks like there might not be much else here, though. Not really seeing anything else. Yeah, okay, I know you want to fight, but at the same time, you're arguably not even worth our time, so... No, thank you. Okay. Donnie went this way. There's something else. Hmm. Mostly just the creaking trees, I think. We did go quite a distance, though. Over the river and through the woods, of course. Those, I believe, are just plants. Herbs of note. So nothing... Terribly significant there. This lead to a burrow. Looks like our spot. Inside. Yeah, I mean, we're talking about Johnny being in a burrow before. That is a little bit odd. That's why I was thinking maybe not a human after all, but oh, the, the footprints suggest that he is Johnny. Oh, Johnny. Hold on. Human-like, maybe, but not actually a human. I'm starting to think. Don't be afraid. You're a bucka? A Luton? Ah, a godling. Not many of you left. Huh. I'm looking for a woman with ashen hair. Seen her? No. Tell me everything from the start. Where did you see her? What was she doing? It's important to me. Why not? You can't speak. You know the kids from the clearing well? Hmm. Don't be afraid. Not gonna hurt anyone. Seems like, yeah, we need to attempt to win his trust first. I assume that he can actually speak, is just choosing not to right now, but I don't know for certain. This where you live? <laughs> Cozy Burrow. Good location. Must know about everything that happens in the bog. Doesn't bother you having monsters for neighbors? <laughs> What's wrong? He actually can't talk. Can't talk. No? Why? Can't. Huh? Lost your voice? Can I help you somehow? Is that a, a follow me gesture? Can't understand you. Try to explain it somehow. 
<laughs> Geralt. You're hopeless. There we go. Yeah, follow him. Want me to follow you? No choice, I guess. <laughs> no, you don't. Okay, let's see what we can find out about Johnny before we follow him. Johnny. When the children of the Swamp Clearing first told Geralt about Johnny, Witcher had every reason to suppose no such person actually existed. It was difficult to imagine anyone living in such an inhospitable surrounding with quickly, without quickly becoming food for drowners or water hags. Geralt thus suspected Johnny was the figment of childish imaginations, an imaginary friend of lonely orphans. Long years of experience, however, told him not to ignore any possible lead, so he decided to search the nearby swampland for any additional signs of Johnny. It turned out that the orphans were not lying. Johnny really did exist. He was not a human child, but a godling, one of a rare breed of creatures that can be found scattered about the continent's wildernesses. Unfortunately, Johnny had lost his voice in circumstances he obviously could not explain, and so neither could he provide much in the way of answers to Geralt's questions. Unfortunate, but maybe. We can still get some answers if we follow him here. And a whopping seven experience points. I'm also curious about Goblin. And what happened to our quest. But let's start here. Is it Stieri? Uh. Eh? Don't tell me they're an insectoid. Relics? Huh? Don't even know what that means. Godlings. Not too long ago, the areas around peasant hamlets were stocked full of guardian spirits. Today, it's nigh unto impossible to spot a brownie, bucka, or luden. And godlings, they are always the first to go. Such is the price we pay for civilization's forward march. In the preface to The World We Have Lost. By Professor Dugaray. Godlings, sometimes mistaken for Luton, are woodland creatures dwelling in burrows and moss covered hollow stumps on the outskirts of human settlements. They are similar to children in behavior and appearance, and the children, and like children, light in mischief. Godlings are deeply rooted in their home territory and perform acts of care and guardianship to those dwelling near their burrows. They watch over people as well as animals, but Shy creatures by nature, they try to do so while remaining unseen. Godlings are drawn to joy and innocence, and so delight in the company of children, and usually only show themselves to the young. These hard-working and clever creatures gladly perform small services to those in their care, asking only for respect and payment in the form of food or cast-off tools in return. They are easily offended by churlish, ungrateful, or simply rude behavior. Okay, that's probably good to remember. Be nice. Basically, godlings also treasure their peace and quiet. When the village of godling watches over becomes too populous, or its inhabitants forget the old ways, it will abandon its burrow for good and walk off to destinations unknown. So perhaps that's why they are so uncommon. At least in part. But we did also get our quest updated. Hold on. Let's look at that too. Follow Johnny. Okay, that's uh, simple enough, I suppose. Now is he about to lead us into dangerous territory? Quite possibly. Johnny. Johnny, um... You're just gonna sit there while we fight the Drowners? How does this work? You just, like, stay out of the way. And that would probably be good. If it's only three Drowners, then that's not a really huge deal. That should be more than good. Um, that, you know, that is if we don't, like, pass Igni at Johnny. No, oh, fuck that. Okay, one second. Assuming you're alright there, Johnny. We'll double check. Follow Johnny again? Okay, sure. Uh... There you are. Stay close to me. Also was kind of interested in picking up some honeycomb there, but I can wait. Out of curiosity, which direction are you sending us in right now? Where are we going? 
Huh. Further north, actually, and through these areas that we were saying we wanted to explore at, at one point in time. And, I mean, we're probably not headed toward Down Warren, but... In that general direction, perhaps. I'd be surprised if you were taking us to the actual village. Oh. This the place? Let me look around. Up top? Something's on the ledge? Something that'll get you your voice back? Oh? Ah, the bottle from the nest. Already got it. Huh? What's that? Here. Oh! Yes, we actually, we did do that. We did do that. That was the thing we were talking about earlier. Where we saw the harpies. Peter Piper picked Prince Proximo a pack of pickle peppers by the pontar. <laughs> okay. Done celebrating. My favorite words. I don't know how long he's Life been voiceless. The sound of surreptitious shenanigans <laughs> is like licking snails through a cloth. Thank you for this, noble whoever you are. Long be your life. Hang on a minute. I helped you, now you help me. Would you turn this beautiful act of altruism into a banal bartering of favors? Perhaps. But yeah, so I suppose convenient that we did ultimately end up getting that before Just we made our way over here. As am I, especially as mine's a voice to crown all voices. Sometimes it's like a forest brook, at others like a roll of thunder. And let's be honest, I talk enough to fill three barrels or more. <laughs> Somebody used some powerful magic on you. As a prank, or just to be mean. But, yeah, so, why? How'd that happen? How'd you lose your voice? One morning I awoke and opened my mouth for my usual bout of singing with the thrushes. I do have the DLC, no, yeah. Behold, no sound escaped. I tried and tried, almost burst a blood vessel. Then I went to the village, cause word has it, the new cunning woman works miracles. But people began crying out, A smudger! A smudger! And sick their dogs on me. Do I look like a smudger to you? What? Not a smudger? Well, I thought not. So it must be the crones. Some dog. kind of monster, presumably. Who else would curse me? Blackbird friend of mine located my voice, but I was helpless to retrieve it. Couldn't ask a raven friend to just give you the bottle? Ravens serve the crones. They don't help no one. Okay. I guess. Fair enough. But as for the young ashen haired woman? I'm looking for a young ashen haired woman. See anyone like that? Did I ever? Remember it as if it were yesterday. Soon I wish it was I yesterday. Woke, I went to empty my bowels. Oh. My favorite part of the day. Oh. Defecating <laughs> to the sunrise. Downright glorious. Okay, maybe we skip past that part. Suddenly heard a bang. So loud it couldn't have been me. And that lass appeared. Out of nowhere. Young ashen haired. Just like you said, wounded, panting to boot. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. She raced off towards the children's huts, quick as if the crones were after her. I yelled some unpleasantries. <laughs> she disturbed my mourn. Sadly, I'd lost my voice, so I don't think she heard me. Okay, I see. Yeah, but we've heard about the crones. We pets the woman from the village in the swamp. But can you tell us any more about either of those two? What do you know about the crones? They're as old as this forest. Cruel. Vindictive. Not to be crossed. What if someone does cross them? Might take his voice. Might take his life. Depends on their whim. They're nasty. Although, they care for this land and its folk in their own way. Supposedly, they always keep their word. You must be careful what you ask for. Won't find them until they want to be found. See them until they want to be seen. But remember, they see and hear all that happens in the mire. Hmm. Okay. And as for Graham, I assume is who this is referring to? I've been to the village in the swamp, met a woman who might have been a crone. Did she seem confused to you? Nuts. Completely. <laughs> so I'm not crazy. 
That's no crone. That's okay. the granny who takes <laughs> care of the orphans. Claims the kids made me up. Me. An orphanage in a swamp? What do you have against swamps? Lived here my whole life, and I heartily recommend it. <laughs> Nothing wrong with swamps, I suppose. She ran off toward the orphanage. Kids could know something, or the old woman who takes care of them. Oh, that old hag don't speak to strangers, and you're a stranger. Will she talk That's to true. you? I have spoken to her, got my ways. So be it. You helped me, and I'm no bore. Come with me. <laughs> 